take a break from the busy festive period with these games to chill out to. The festive period is great. There are things to do, people to see, and oh, so much food to eat. Oh, delicious food. But after a few intense days, it can start to get a little tiring, and the desire to step away from it all becomes harder and harder to ignore. Luckily though, there is one very easy way to go someplace totally new and chill out for a few hours. Games. Yes, switch off from the outside world and switch on to some soothing gardens, intriguing puzzles, and all the other things we have on this list. And if you like this one and want more features all about games, then make sure to subscribe to Logitech G. But for now though, here are the best games to chill out with. Roki is a snowy Scandinavian fairy tale that you can peacefully puzzle your way through. You play as Tove searching for her lost brother, and despite a few scary monsters showing up, you never feel out of your depth. Instead, you wander through the quiet landscapes, befriending trolls and making porridge for house spirits. It feels like sitting down to your favourite childhood movie or book, but with a totally new storyline to explore. And a cat who wants to eat you, but that's fine. Roki is incredibly comforting and captures that feeling of fresh snowfall where everything feels calm. There's no way to rush, you have to tread slowly and pick up each and every little detail. So Roki is the ideal thing if you want to chill out after a busy Christmas period, but still want a compelling story and adventure to well and truly get lost in. I could merely show you the deer in the delivery hat and move on, but I suppose you want to know a little more about what Kind Words actually is. It's pretty much an online messaging place, but the nicest one to ever exist. Titled Lo-Fi Chill Beats to Write To pretty much sums it up. You turn up the radio, write some letters, and that's basically it. Every letter you receive is from a real person anonymously posted, but the community is incredibly kind and thoughtful. There's no negativity, just life advice, fun questions, and a whole lot of stickers to collect. It probably won't keep you occupied for a whole day, but it's absolutely a respite of calm gaming for an hour or so. You can check back in every day with a warm mug of cocoa and we'll be sure to leave with a smile on your face. <laughs> Just looking at In Other Waters will make you feel more relaxed. This minimalist adventure provides everything you need to let your imagination run wild. Or more accurately, swim wild as you're exploring an alien sea here. Don't worry though, no nasty beasties are showing up on your ship. Instead, you observe coral reefs and gentle creatures dancing past. There is a mysterious backstory involving a missing scientist, but your time will mainly be spent peacefully exploring and collecting samples to learn more about the magical life you've discovered. Or Ellery has. You're just the artificial intelligence that helps to guide her. But realistically, you do all the work. None of that is to say that the story won't grab you though. It has depth and intrigue just waiting to be enjoyed. It isn't a game about fast action or tricky maneuvers. Instead, it's a chance to chill out and let yourself drift through the cool blue and yellow waters. How does planting shrubs and listening to their music sound for chilling out? Mutazioni is chill beats to garden to. Okay, it's actually a lot more than that, but there are some beats that are particularly chill and also gardening. Described by the devs as a mutant soap opera, it's all about meeting the weird residents in town and discovering their intertwining stories. So while you may think you're busy tending your plants, your real job is tending to the people around you. Plus, small town drama has never looked so good in this earthy, hand-drawn style that's like a wander through a lush forest. A refreshing walk for your eyes. There's no pressure on where you need to go or what you need to do. You can wander freely through the world, exploring at your own pace. So if you want somewhere chilled out to escape to, you can't get much better than Mutazioni. What says chilling out more than a nice cup of coffee or warming hot chocolate? Coffee Talk is a visual novel, or self-described talking simulator, set in an alternate Seattle where elves, orcs, and various fantasy beings coexist. 
You run a small cafe open at night in which you watch rain softly falling, serve up delicious drinks, and listen to the problems of those who visit. And yes, that means actually making the drinks, latte art included. Although milk pouring is nearly as difficult as it is in real life. It's a chance to step away from tricky platforming or fast-paced adventures to get lost in the intertwining stories of those who pull up a chair. You let them talk and keep the matcha lattes coming. Although be warned, you will need to make yourself a drink before settling in, otherwise you'll have to unfurl from a blanket to make your own out of hot chocolate-based jealousy. This sunny, pixelated world is the ideal place to escape to when it all gets a bit much. A short hike is exactly what it says, a gentle journey up a mountain. You could race through this adventure to get your phone signal and leave, but a few moments of waves lapping at the shore and gentle birdsong later, you'll be happily collecting shells without a care in the world. It encourages taking things slowly, be it talking to people along the way, stopping to fish, or generally exploring every inch of the map. There's no quest markers to keep you on track, no goals to reach before sundown, you can merely wander free through the trees. There's not even fool damage to stress about, as you can glide on the air with outstretched wings. There's truly nothing to worry about, other than having a good time. If you're looking for a simple puzzle to chill out with, then we have to recommend Hidden Folks. It's full of hand-drawn landscapes that you can fully interact with. Cut down leaves, open doors, move objects, all to find the people on your list. Like a minimalist and even more exciting, where's Wally? Or Waldo for our friends across the pond. It's an incredibly simple concept, but one that easily sucks you into the black and white world, hopefully to be seen again, but with all those levels, better to tell your friends and family not to hold their breath. And speaking of, the sounds of Hidden Folks are part of what makes it so utterly charming. You'll be blooping along with it in no time. If you're looking for something to absorb your full attention without having to worry about hand-eye coordination, then it's time to chill out with Hidden Folks. Ooblitz opens with the sound of calming waves and promises of new life. It doesn't get more relaxing than that. From there, you jump into an uber colorful land that's like lying on top of an ice cream sundae and slowly sinking into it, but not as cold. This happy place is filled with friendly people and ooblets, little creatures you can collect Pokemon style and pit against each other in dance battles. Yes, it only gets cuter and cuter the more you learn. I mean, the currency is purple squidgy gummies. This is a place where you can let all your worries go and chill out in something that is very happy being a break from realistic. Join a club, go see dangling, repair your old farmhouse. There's things to do, but no pressure to do them. Ooblets forces you to slow down, chill out, and squee every few seconds when something new appears if our let's play is anything to go by. Is that a, is that a bird? Is it a fish? Is it a, why is it wearing a fish with a crown? crown is very cute. Journey is the pinnacle of chill games. It takes you through a sunbathed desert on a wordless adventure. You see a mountain in the distance and keep heading towards it until you reach the top. There's no obvious story to follow, no exposition-filled text to read, just crumbling buildings and paintings that hint to something deeper. Each step brings you closer to your end goal, but as the title suggests, it's the journey that really matters. The places you explore, the things you see, and even, if you switch on co-op, another chirruping friend to meet. It's incredibly soothing, and as a short game, you can wrap it up in a few hours, so leave feeling satisfied with your adventure. Cloud Gardens has an incredibly simple concept. You collect and plant seeds in abandoned places and watch them grow. The only aim is to cover a certain amount of space with twisting, flowering greenery. There's no pressure or time limit, just you and your garden creating pretty dioramas. Although think less rural idyls and more abandoned car parks. But somehow throwing in rusty trolleys for your vines to wrap around is immensely satisfying. And most importantly, calming. It's a chance to forget about everything around you and concentrate on bringing a few squares of concrete to life. New concepts are introduced very gradually, and there's not even any text to read, so you can let your eyes drink up the pastel colours and pretty flowers like the leaves drink up sunlight. And there's even a sandbox mode to grow as you please, so once you're done with the challenges, you can happily 
finally tend your virtual garden in peace. So that's our selection of games you can chill out with. Let us know in the comments which games you turn to for a few peaceful hours, and if you enjoyed, please give this video a like. For more videos about every kind of game, subscribe to Logitech G, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload.